Dave Cooper 250 kilogram collapsible trailer has arrived in four boxes. Now open. Now I've got one with a spare wheel. So we have three wheels there. Now the final. There's the instructions. Shouldn't be too difficult. And I've actually unwrapped the bits and bobs. Oh no, got one more to unwrap. Uh, seven all out here. And I think that's the ramp. Okay, that's the other one now unwrapped. So now everything, everything is unwrapped. Now, I think I've got things in the right place now as to where they go. I was wondering where those brackets went here. Apparently they go inside according to the instructions of the mud guards. And then we can work out that the tie down where the fun goes underneath. And then we've got the light bracket clamp at the back there. There's one wheel on. That's both wheels on. A little bit fiddly, but done. As you can see, this bike stand actually comes in quite handy. Um, glad I kept it, because I now have one that actually lifts the bike up rather than lift it. Alright, having done this, these were marked left and right, but the markings were on the inside in there. Um, and I don't know which way. So these are marked left and right as well for the mud guards, but who knows which side is which now. I didn't actually keep a record of it. Right, so you actually need to be careful to record which side is right and which one's left. I know that this one's right because I looked at an old video and the one with the brown bit of paper still stuck to the axle is the right one. Um, there isn't any on this one, so I don't need to take it apart again to check. And uh, it seems from the picture that the shorter bit goes at the front so that's go with the mud guards on um, i would suggest actually putting the brackets and mud guards on before fitting the wheels um, in hindsight it would have been slightly easier but it was fine almost there um everything's put together save for attaching it to the actual axle there i wasn't going to bother because i need to actually have it in two pieces to get it out of the back garden into the front driveway or just to store it but that's just it three bolts there and it's all done a little bit concerned that this gap here at the front is a little bit long, but uh, I'll have to test that on the right. The front, and as you can see, it's all put together with the last three bolts now just to put the light board on. Light board fitted, now just to reverse the car up and then good to go. Just like there we go, hooked up to the car. Probably can move forward a bit and then I can load the bike and unload the bike as well.